Hello, my name is Jason Murray and I'm a Solutions Readiness Engineer at Cisco and this is the fourth and final video in a series of videos centered around setting up a Business Edition 6000 system at 9.x. In the previous videos I went through the configuration and integration of three applications Communications Manager, Uni Connection, and I Am In Presence using the Unify Provisioning Manager. Now the system is at the point where it's working and fully functional. The last thing that needs to be completed is licensing, and since the BE6K uses UC applications at 9.0 and above, you're going to be licensing the system using Cisco's Enterprise License Manager, or ELM. After we get it licensed, I'll run through a few tests just to make sure the system is indeed functional. So with that said, let's get this BE6K licensed. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our BE6K licensed with Enterprise License Manager or ELM. Now ELM is the new way as far as 9.x and above the way that Cisco is going to license your system, your cluster and the applications that are supported is Unified Communications Manager and Unity Connection and they both get installed as a service. So if you go to the IP address of either Unity Connection or communications manager just put the IP address in there you'll get an option to either click on Unity Connection and go to that admin page or you can click on the Enterprise License Manager link and it'll take you to the ELM version that is on Unity Connection now you can use either one but you cannot use both you only have one per cluster so in this lab setup what we're going to do is we're going to use the Enterprise License Manager that is installed onto communications manager because you can use it and you can install enterprise license manager as a separate VM but just keep in mind that's going to take up one of your VMs that you can install on your B6K because right now it's making this video you can only put five up to five so if you install enterprise license manager as a, another VM you're going to take up one of your five applications but it is recommended to use the version that is, is either attached to communications manager or Unity Connection. Now that we have clicked the link uh, to Enterprise License Manager, we're going to go ahead and log in with the admin user account. It's the same one that you log into Communications Manager with, since that's what we're using it as or using it on. And you can get to the page using the IP address of Communication Manager and slash ELM admin if you want to do that. But once you log in, you get to this dashboard kind of gives you a little bit overview of what's going on on your system we don't have any instances or products added that's what we're going to do right now so expand inventory click product instances and on this page is where you are going to add your communications manager and your unity connection servers so we're going to click add first one we're going to add is communications manager so CUCM product type is going to be unified CM and then we're going to put the IP address of the communications manager server as well as the security username and password not the regular admin password that you log into the admin page but the security one just keep that in mind that's the one you're using and then we're going to do the same thing with unity connection so you see we're going to change the product type to unity connection and then we're going to put the IP address of the Unity Connection server in here. And then as well as the security username and password here as well. We could test the connection if we want, but I think I got the password in there correctly. So we're going to say OK. And then if you had additional servers, you would add those as well. So they would keep track of all the different servers you have. So now that we have them in there, we're going to go ahead and just click the synchronize now button just kind of get it talking to each other so now we've got a successful sync between the two services and now we're going to go in here and create a license report or generate a license request so when you get your server up and running you're going to have to click this button here this generate license request and it's going to come out with this a bunch of letters and numbers and things like that and you need to copy that and put that into a text document and save it and what you're going to do is you're going to send it to the licensing folks at Cisco telling them this is how many users I need this is how many devices and all that kind of things that you're going to have how many unity connection people how many people have mailboxes and things like that and they're going to take this special code and generate your key based on that it's unique to 
each enterprise license manager. So this code is, is unique to that. So this is different between managers. So you're going to send that in. They're going to send you a license file, which I've already done already. So we're going to click this install license file that they already sent back to me. And I'm going to click browse. And I have this here. It's a .bin file. You just click on it. And then you're going to uh, click on it and open it. And just click install. And all the setup that they have, all the users that you have, that you told them that you needed, all the license that you ordered, is going to be configured within this bin file. So you just click install. It takes a few seconds. And then it will come up and say install successful. So now our system is licensed. So it'll start removing all of those warning banners that you saw in communications manager and then you can go in to these different sections here like license usage and you can see how many licenses are being used so we've only got a couple users so we're only using two licensing now ignore the premium license that you see there this is something that was with 9.0 and then they got rid of that in 9.1 so once you get to 9.1 that premium license is going to go away so you're not going to see that but just because these are 9.0 systems so you can go on here and well we're going to go to actually communications manager because if you remember if you go back to another video you'll remember that there was a warning banner saying there were 60 days left you have a 60 day limit to use this or the system's going to come up functional now that we license our system it's gone so we know that this system is licensed and ready to go so you can do some other reports and things like that you can do uh, license planning you can do this chart view here that kind of tells you because you can borrow things from different types of, of licenses you can borrow them to lower tiers and things like that but that is it to licensing your system uh, you, you generate that request send it to the folks at Cisco and then they'll send you back that key to install and then that's pretty much it to license your system and you're ready to go now our system is fully licensed and you can go to the dashboard look and now we've got two product instances and it tells you how many licenses you're using so that's pretty much it on the actual bringing up of the B6K system you've created users you've took your applications from start to finish you've installed them created your virtual machines used UPM to push out the config and did your integration and everything like that so very quickly you've gotten your B6K system up and running now the only thing really that's left that I'm gonna do in this video is just kinda bring up the workstation that I have for user one and check out some settings here and you can see we've got IP communicator which we set up earlier and it has registered to 2001 so we've got that set up and and it's already configured we didn't create those devices manually and now another thing that we can do is we can bring up our Jabber application and get that configured so since it is an on-prem presence server we're gonna choose the presence selection here and then we're going to actually put the server name in or IP address of the present server and then we're going to put in our acme.com domain and save that and then we'll log in with user1 and its password and then we're going to sign in so after a few moments we're going to see it log in successfully hopefully if everything's gone right and we do so we're in we see our present status of available we've got all these tabs this voicemail tab remember we set that up earlier so you can see your visual voicemail and that was because of those profiles that uh, we set up and then in order to get it you know registered with communications manager we actually have to put in the user account here so we're going to say user1 is our user account. This is getting authenticated through LDAP because we have that set up. And we don't have to put anything for voicemail because we had that setting that we set earlier to authenticate with communications manager. So it's all in one place. So that went good. So now we can tell we have some phone presence. You can see that it says on a call because I went off hook here. 
I also have another user that I have off to the side that I'm going to chat back and forth with just to do a little bit of a test. So we've got user 2 already set up and we can just double click on this guy here. We can say hello user 2 and we're going to respond with that just to show you that its presence is working. I'm going back and forth. I'm chatting. I see that I'm typing. So everything is working pretty good. We could call in and, and check the voicemail and leave a voicemail message and it would show up. We can call the user here uh, and do things like that. But uh, I think that's pretty sufficient right now as it is because all the other things are working. And that's it on setting up your BE6K. So that brings us to the end of this video and the end of the series on the setup of the BE6K system. Hopefully you found the series on the BE6K helpful and maybe setting up your own system. As always, you can go to Cisco's main website, cisco.com, to learn more about the BE6K as well as many other products. I want to thank you for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing Cisco.